Hi, and welcome to the 11th issue of the GBLC. Okay, what we've got here, we've got the Winston Churchill and the Bullet Light Pacific. Let's have a look at the train. Well, there she is. Okay, well, let's get her out. Have to be very careful. Some the glue comes off with it. So the tape, oh look, it comes off quite easily. Sometimes it comes difficult, sometimes quite easy. That's the first bit. Oh, it's quite easy this time. Depending on what glue they use, that comes off quite easily this time. They seem to use different glue, sometimes difficult. Got our packaging. I always have a back picture. That's the uh, uh, 34081 they've got there. Let's look at the it's a Southern 21C151 Winston Churchill. Seems to have uh, like built in smoke reflectors, these bits here. Uh, Built in 1946. Always good detail. Now this one's got only three screws. I've said this before in other videos, but sometimes they have four, sometimes they have three. I was expecting this one to have four, because I expect large ones have four screws and little ones have three, but this one only has three screws. So let's undo them. Oh wait a minute, this only has two screws. That's interesting. This one has two. First time, and it has two. Because normally, like I said, four or three. This is the first. This is a first for issue. It's only got two. That's strange. Maybe they're trying to save money. Maybe perhaps. Let's take. Oh, look, it's very different. This one, very different. It's got silver, it always seems to be black underneath, but it's silver. Maybe they've got to, to paint this one. Maybe if you, I don't know. Anyway, um, there's a bit of cab there, you can see the details in the cab there. I was looking uh, in Smith's today. Oh, that's a bit slightly bit bent in there. Um, anyway, and I noticed that the I don't know this painting wasn't this little sticker thing here. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that, but don't seem to be very good. That little sticker there. It's a little bit disappointed about that. Didn't seem quite quite right that. Um, what if it's supposed to be silver underneath? I don't think so. I think they've got to paint this one. 
See the wheels don't go round. No, definitely the wheels don't go round on this one, and I've got to paint this one as well. Apart from that, there's a coal. Let me show you the back of this. Uh, that's map showing you which part of the country there is that southern uh, that's a date uh, built from 1945 to 1951 or well should I say in service that's the real arrangement uh, 462 which means four wheels at the front six wheels like drive wheels and two wheels here that's how big the wheels are, 6 feet 2 inches, I think that's a tonne, how much they weigh. I'll never get these two bits, I'm not sure what these mean. Oh, I think that, that's the length that one is. Um, see, it was 6 to 7 feet, 4.75 inches or 20.54 metres long. I'm not sure, that, or maybe that's pulling power, maybe. And I've said this in other videos as well, and they never seem to change the back of this. It's always the same four pictures of the same locomotive, and the same three, first three issues. You ought to change that. Let's have a look at the magazine. There you go, there's a that's number 34007, oh look, 007, probably nothing to do with James Bond. Uh, and then it always tells you there what's coming in the next issue. Uh, the Fowler 3F Ginty class. That looks like a small locomotive, that one. Anyway, Radical Pacifics. And there we have a picture of, this, of, the, of the model. A splendid view of the Battle of Britain. Now that one's called the Battle of Britain. Uh, Steam Southern Celebrities. Our fact file. Uh, 1945 to 1951, in service 1945 to 1967. Wheel arrangement I already told you about. Driving wheel, told you. Boiler pressure, fire box great area, cylinders, three cylinders, value gear, traction effort, weight 86 tonnes. Oh, there's only number only 110 were built in all forms. Oh, then there's one at the, uh, in the sheds, West Country, being built at Brighton on July 25th, July 1945. This bit always tells you what to look out for. Design profile, like Pacific Territory, the Southern Railway. Nice black and white photo of it in you, so the old signal gallery, you don't see that much more these days. A view that shows the distinctive casting from an elevated angle, Battle of Britain, number 34061. Did you know, oh, 
Buddy Pacific's were officially mixed traffic machines. Their classification of such is said to be part of the reason the Southerners were able to gain permission to build them during the wartime years of the 1940s. Now, they always do a profile, they call the anatomy of the Light Pacific, Tony Metz. Uh, I said, told you about the smoke deflectors, these things here. Character design of the Light Pacific, the smoke deflectors were incorporated in the locomotive casting, chimney, the boiler, the cab, quite largely enclosed and quite different from those predecessors. The cylinders, these things here, these are the driving wheels, casing, the tender, this is the tender that carries the coal. The rivals compared, there were nothing else quite like the bullet Pacific on Britain as well as most other local were more controversial. It is it could perhaps be argued that Stanley's rebuild of Fowler's four six O's on the London, Midland and Scottish Railways were more conventional. Unlikely survivors. These are all the spotters points as well. Probably about telling you how many survived. Uh, golden arrow. Ah. If we go to the National Railway Museum in York, you can actually see the golden arrow. Here's one, the West Country number 462, numbers 34020 sentence and 34101 Hutland were under repair at Brighton on September 29th, 1956. All them bits everywhere. Quite a messy yard that. Fact file, where can I see one? Uh, Sid Murph, Bodmin, uh, Bolton, Winston Churchill. Oh, that's the one that I was saying about cosmetic resource for the National Railway Museum. Our number 34051. So go to the National Railway Museum, you can see one. Uh, the Blue Bell Railway under repair. The Nene Valley Railway under uh, on, uh, under overhaul. Light Pacific milestones. 1967, the last Light Pacific were withdrawn in the final year of the Southern Steam. Nice picture of that crossing the river there. Want to know more about them? Book of the West Country and Battle of Britain Pacific, Rich Derry, OL Press, 2002 2008. Uh, http colon four slash four slash n dot wikipedia.org. Well, that's a bit for forward slash wiki slash sr underline west underline country underline and battle underline of underline britain underline classes well, that's a bit for a long website <laughs> uh, it's about preservation And then lastly, I always have the photo, find a knife. Oh, it's changing the tracks this one. 
West Country Preserve, Swanage, Entry. 1989. Well, that's it, that's one last look. Put them together. That's it, there. Oops, <laughs> come on, done. Okay. Thanks for watching.